hello. Uh, welcome to the last lecture. I'm sure that you guys are all super excited about that. <laughs> uh, for me, it's a bit sad, although I know I'll seeing, be seeing a few of you guys again. Um, let's see, next spring in uh, instrumental analysis, so that'll be fun. But uh, yeah, it's been it's been a fun semester. Um, I'm glad that you guys ended up taking PCHEM. I think that it will help you uh, in whatever path you take in life. Um, mostly because PCHEM is the foundation of chemistry. And I hope that I have uh, kind of showed you that in a way. Okay, so I actually just have a little bit more to talk about in terms of the material that we're covering. Okay, I'm not going to cover very much today. I'm actually just going to cover a tiny little bit um, because I think that it's important to put what we've just been learning into context of things that you use, uh, will use almost constantly for the rest of your chemical career. Okay, let's take a hard look at this. What if... What if I were to collect the vapor phase and recondense it. In another container. Okay, if you look at this, what if I were to take the vapor phase? Remember, the vapor phase composition is different than the liquid phase composition. What if I were to take the vapor phase composition and um, condense it into another container? What would happen here? All right, let's draw this again, our little graph. Unfortunately, I don't have the graph in my clipboard anymore, but that's okay. Uh, we have pressure on the y-axis and mole fraction uh, of the liquid and of the gas phase. We have here, let's see, uh, this would be P2 star, and this would be P1 star. Right, the, the vapor pressure of the pure component. Uh, let's draw a line between these two. Oof, it's an okay straight line. I've drawn better. <laughs> okay, and then um, the dew point line. Okay, so we have the bubble line. Remember, bubble line and the dew, dew line. Okay, so if I give you some solution, for example, a solution that has concentration xi or x1. You find x1 on the curve, let's say this is x1, and you make a vertical line up to the bubble, the bubble line, the straight line, and this tells you, um, oh, and then, sorry, and then you make a horizontal line across to the dew line. This is called the tie line here, All right? And then if you make a vertical line back down, this gives you Y1, or the uh, vapor pressure, or the vapor, um, not the vapor pressure. Uh, man, what is this called? Uh, the mole fraction, sorry, <laughs> took me forever. My, my brain is uh, a little muddled today. This gives you the mole fraction of the, of the vapor phase. Now, let's take this vapor phase. I'm going to change the color of my pen here. Okay, let's take this, and I'm going to condense it down into a liquid. And I'm going to take that new liquid, and I'm going to put it back into a container. And sure enough, I can find the new vapor phase concentration by doing the same thing again. And if I look in the vapor phase, woo, that was a little squirrely of a line. If I look in the vapor phase again, I have a new, uh, new composition, okay? A new vapor phase composition. Um, interestingly enough, this is a different composition. And as a matter of fact, it has less of the first component than we started with. Uh-huh. So, what if I do this again? Let's do it again. Let's take this, let's condense that liquid, or condense that gas back down into a liquid, and we end up with this exact 
um, composition in the liquid phase. And then let's draw our tie line over again, over to here, and go back down. And this is, a, again, a new vapor phase. And we can do this again and again and again until we get to basically pure P2. Collect vapor, condense the vapor, and repeat. What does this sound like to you guys? What are we doing here? You've done it many times in the lab, I guarantee it. This is a fractional distillation. Okay, all this is is fractional distillation. We are taking advantage of our uh, knowledge of the dew point line and the uh, bubble point line um, to figure out exactly how uh, this can work. Okay, so we're using Raoult's law, we're using Dalton's law, we're putting it all together, um, and we're coming up with a way of describing exactly how distillation works, um, which I think is awesome and I think is really useful. Um, it's also quite practical for, for any chemist to, uh, to know that. Okay, um, this is, all of this that we've talked about, blah, 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 is neat, right? Neat and all. Okay, all of this is neat, um, but I want to point out an important fact. This is all, these are all for ideal liquids. Okay, these are all for ideal liquids. Um, and uh, okay, these are these are all for ideal liquids, and um, there are many I, there are many requirements for an ideal mixture, okay, but one of the most often violated is the fact that delta V mix is equal to zero, okay. Um, this is often violated. For example, if you mix 1.0 liters of H2O with 1.0 liters of ethanol, are you going to end up with a solution that's 2.0 liters? No, your solution will be slightly less than two, um, than two liters. Okay, the solution will be slightly less than two liters. Um, and this is due to the intermolecular forces that are attracting H2O and ethanol molecules together, and it makes them take up a little bit less space um, than the sum of their parts. Okay, so um, that's basically where I'm going to end. Uh, just noting that this is all for ideal liquids and ideal mixtures. And um, oftentimes, actually, basically all the time, you don't have an ideal li mixture. And uh, you can get into things about um, real liquids or real mixtures and how they fit together, much like we did with a real gas. But I simply do not have time to cover that. So we're going to end it here. Um, that has been your introduction to physical chemistry, at least the thermodynamic side of physical chemistry. I hope you learned something. Uh, if you didn't learn anything, I hope that you at least had fun. If you didn't have fun, then I hope that, uh, <laughs> I don't know what I hope. Uh, yeah, but I hope you um, maybe enjoyed one or two lectures here and there. How's that? Or, or I got an idea, okay. If you didn't have fun, I hope that you enjoyed some of my jokes. There, that satisfies everybody, right? All right, I hope you guys have an awesome summer. Um, yeah, uh, final will be coming up here in a few days. Um, check out the Canvas for more information on that. And other than that, yeah, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, or just want to chat, feel free to email me, Google me, text me, whatever. All right? McDonald out.